Hey everyone, Dylan with the HD Perspective here. This video is a response to one of the comments that I received on a previous video. And so, you know, if you have any ideas for videos or questions, I'm more than willing to try and help you out with them. Um, we're going to be going through my vacuum filler set from Mac Tools. It's actually a rebranded Mighty Vac and uh, showing how it works and, you know, what I like about it. So today at work I had a Kenworth T800 came in with a coolant leak. So I determined it was this upper rod hose. You could see it dripping there. Even in the picture you can see a few drips starting to form on it. Um, yeah, I drained the coolant out and took the hose off. And here you can see the damage on the inside. It was actually split on the inside. So it's a fairly easy fix. I got a new rad hose, put it on. And then when I went to go fill the coolant back up, I pull out my handy little vacuum filler. In this kit, it comes with your attachment that goes to the rad. So you see that on the left with the uh, gauge on it. And then there's a Venturi as well as the hose. Now I also added, uh, you can see a little tube there because counters have two caps on the coolant reservoir. One's your pressure cap, and then the other is the fill cap. So I just keep a little piece of hose that I cut off that fits over the, the pressure cap. Otherwise, you can't pull a vacuum down, and it's just got a bolt in the end and a hose clamp to seal it up. I also put a big nut over the end of the hose and electrical taped it on just to weigh it down so it falls to the bottom of the bucket instead of just kind of floating around on the top. I also have an adapter for the Canworth. Um, the fill neck on the reservoir is a little bit too narrow so I can just barely get the end of my vacuum filler into the cap. And so it's hard to make a good seal. So if you put the adapter on, then you can put the filler in further and it makes a better seal for vacuum. So I've got it set up here, pulling a vacuum down. I just put the rag over top because it kind of spits a little bit of coolant out. So once it gets down to about 20, 21 inches of mercury, it's good enough. I shut the valve off, pull the air, and I let it sit for a few minutes just to check for leaks. As long as my vacuum holds, I know I don't have any leaks and we should be good. I like to set my pails of coolant up on the valve cover. I could make an extension hose, but then it's kind of slow uh, pulling the coolant back into the system. Your typical 15 liter Cummins ISX usually uses about three pails of coolant, so they're five gallon pails or uh, 19 liter pails, I guess. So right around 50, 60 liters of coolant. Yeah, and I plug my hose into the unit where I had my Venturi plugged into and have the hose run to the pail, open the valve up, and start sucking the coolant in. One thing I like to do is usually put two buckets of coolant in and then maybe I'll pull a vacuum down again just so I can get the last bit. So this is a really handy kit. It's really a must-have for heavy-duty equipment or trucks, anything like that. Especially when you've got a lot of different oil coolers, hydraulic oil coolers, bunk heaters, cab heaters, all places where you could get a potential airlock in the system. So this helps avoid that problem. What it also does for you is allows you to check for leaks before you even fill it up. I mean, you can't trust it 100% all the time because sometimes even after you've pulled a vacuum down, you fill the unit up uh, and you run it up to temp sometimes you can still have a leak but it'll avoid probably 90 percent of the problems out there um it's it really is a must-have there's different styles mac and snap on matco they all make them a uh, little bit different setups here and there but they're all fairly good you know some of my coworkers have different ones i'm pretty happy with this one um it makes my life easier sometimes it's a shop tool but you know how that goes, you can never find it, the pieces are missing, what have you.
I just as soon have my own and uh, I know what kind of shape it's in. Another thing you can use it to check for if you don't have any external leaks, you can also use it to check for internal leaks. Like, you know, if you don't see coolant coming out on the ground someplace, uh, you can pull a vacuum down, see if it's uh, where it's not holding. Maybe your EGR cooler is leaking or you got a head gasket, cylinder liners cracked, something like that. Uh, in more extreme cases. Probably the nicest feature about this kit is you avoid a big mess. It, you know how hard it is to try and lift a pail up on top of the radiator and pour it in without spilling. I mean, this, this avoids all of that. So that's why I like it. Um, really a must have if you're a heavy duty mechanic of any kind. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I got it. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe and uh, leave a comment below. You know, tell me about your kit or your experience. And uh, we'll talk to you in the next video.